Hey guys, this is Vetric VCarve Pro. Quick tip number one, what we're going to be talking about today is the Array Copy Toolpath. This is not to be confused with what most of us are familiar with, and that is the Array Copy. The big difference here is that the Array Copy Toolpath only copies and arrays the toolpath. It does not array and copy vectors. Let's say you've got a project with vectors and toolpaths that you want to be able to array if your stock size changes. In this example here, I've got a small piece of stock that's about nine and a half inches wide by four inches high. That's only enough room to carve out one of these whiskey smokers. You can see that I've got all my tool paths here set up for the carve. Well, let's just say we want to print out more than one copy. We'll go up to our project size here and say we'll make a 48 inch wide and we'll go 32 inches high. So now we've got a lot of space on our CNC table to be able to carve out multiple toolpaths and get a whole bunch of copies. What we could do is take these vectors and use the array copy, and this is only dealing with vectors, and let's say we want to make seven rows and five columns. We're gonna offset them with a gap of a quarter inch and we'll copy those. That's great, but the problem is is that we only have one set of toolpaths. So what you'd need to do basically is to copy all the information from all these toolpaths into every single vector. That's gonna take a lot of time and it's not very productive. There is a very easy solution to this. And that is using this little feature right here called Create Array Copy Toolpath. What this will do is only copy the toolpaths. It'll take these toolpaths here and it will array them based on the parameters that you set here. So for this size of worksheet, I've got seven rows and five columns and I'm offsetting all of these vectors by a gap of a quarter inch along the X and a quarter inch along the Y. So let's hit calculate and see what it gives us. There we go. So if I go back to the 2D view, you can see that all these are our toolpaths. They are not vectors. This is very useful if you have a design that's set up with just a couple of vectors and you want to array the toolpaths to be able to do multiple carves on multiple sheets on multiple types of stock. If we go to the 3D view here, you can see that all the toolpaths are correct. I can even preview all toolpaths. So here's all of our components from the project that have been carved out, but that's based off of the toolpaths only from two items. What the software has done is created a group. It's created an array toolpath one with all of the toolpaths underneath it. What I can do here is I can ungroup this and you'll see that basically we're right back to the only two initial toolpaths that we had created. That's useful because we may want to open this project up again, use a different size stock. So that's VCarve Pro tip number one, and that is the array copy toolpath. Remember, it only copies toolpaths. It does not copy an array vectors. By the way, if you're interested in getting a copy of this file for your own use, I'll have a link to my Etsy store in the description below. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thanks, guys.